And last but not least, this is one that I like to call Star Wars toast because it has a light side and a dark side. <laughs> All righty, it's time for Dungeons and Dragons. Dungeons and Dragons, that sounds about right. You're gonna enjoy this. I designed it especially for you. Okay, but just for a little bit. Oh, I have a feeling that once you start, you're not gonna want to or be allowed to stop. <laughs> Ready? You bet. Your name is Bernatrix. You are a warrior queen. You're strong, beautiful, and tall. Ooh, I like the idea of being tall. I think you're gonna like a lot of things I have in store. For example, in this world, only the men get pregnant. So your husband is home trying not to pee when he laughs. This is getting fun, what's next? You're parched and weary from battle. You stand in front of a tavern that serves the coldest, most delicious ale in all the realm. I haven't had a drink in months. What do you do? I storm in, slam my sword down, and say, Barkeep, bring me the strongest ale you have and serve it in the skull of a goblin. He wants to see ID. <laughs> the Hellpron lunges out of the hot spring. You block it with your shield. Do you attack? Does it have eyes? You have three giant red ones and they never blink. It's unsettling. I stab it in the middle eye. Good choice, critical hit. Your sword goes through its eye into its tiny brain. With its final dying gasp, it says, you have reduced me to a pile of sushi. <laughs> Enjoy me with this packet of soy sauce. <laughs> it's low sodium, ah. Okay, I guess I should eat the help prom. Using your sword, you prepare a beautiful sushi dinner. You slip into the hot spring and enjoy the warm water on your aching joints. As you happily close your eyes, you recall the incredible evening you've had and notice that your feet and ankles are smaller than they've ever been. <laughs> the end. Wow, this night turned out to be so much more fun than I thought. Yeah, well, the fun doesn't stop. You're still going home with a goodie bag full of toast. <laughs>